We have a very jam-packed Sword Soul video here with Sword Soul Runic. Evidently, this is a Master Duel classic, and we have some Spriggan love for you today as well. Alright, to the 30% of you that have not smashed Elven Crab out of that subscribe button, smash it so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So evidently, um, I was talking about this earlier, and a, a couple people mentioned to me that Sword Soul Runic is like a, a Master Duel classic deck. And evidently, this... I have zero way to validate this, um, but uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't, yeah, 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 I just, this is a, a, a contraption. So you're going to use Sword Soul stuff to set up into, you know, Baron for the Negate, or, you know, the Chi Zhao, or the Cheng Ying here for the Banish. It's something in terms of an engine. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have triple copies of Distrudo. We have triple copies of Incredible Ecclesia. We have triple copies of Mo Yi with two copies of Taiye. Then we have triple copies of Long Yun and one copy of the Abyss Dragon Sword Soul. Then we have triple copies of Runic Destruction, triple copies of Flashing Fire, two copies of the Fountain. We have triple copies of Freezing Curses, triple copies of Slumber, one copy of Smiting Storm, Triple copies of Runic Tip, triple copies of Emergence, and one copy of Blackout. That all makes sense, honestly, in terms of ratios there. Then we have one Yazi with one Cheng Ying. We have one copy of Quing Zing Long Yun, two Qi Zhao. We have one Deep Sea Prima Donna, one Coral Dragon with two copies of Boxia. We have one Baron. Then we have one copy of Moonin, two copies of Hugin, one Gary, and one Freki. Then we have triple copies of Lava Golem because best card. Triple copies of the giant meteor in the sky, triple copies of Book of Eclipse, triple copies of Dimensional Barrier, and triple copies of Ravelry of the Warlords here. Wrapping up Runic Sword Soul. And like I said, for this being an interesting, you know, concoction that somebody is trying out here to have success with, this is genuinely pretty impressive. I, I still don't know how well that this is going to work. That's that's an opening hand. So let me tell you what. Um, that's also a pretty good hand. All right, well, if you get hands like that, you should be able to win. Next up is Spriggins featuring Cyberstein. Yay! I love the ability to go tally-ho, make an entire field, proceed to keck my opponent all the way to the bank here. And yes, we are doing the Sapphire Pegasus shenanigans here, just so that you can get to the Merrymaker on the Express to go ahead and expedite the process. Quite a few people are like, well, what's the purpose of playing, you know, Crystal Beast Package? Well, you know, one Pegasus turns into the Rainbow Dragon, and then, you know, proceeds to go ahead and convert on into an additional Pegasus, so you can essentially play the game at that point, and then you don't just overlay into Sargass and proceed to full combo your opponent. So, we have one copy of the Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon with triple copies of Sapphire Pegasus. We have one Cyberstein with one Rainbow Dark Dragon. We have one Sprite Blue with one Sprite Jet. We have one Branga with uh, triple brothers. We have one Captain Sargass with one copy of uh, Pador. Then we have triple Rocky and two copies of Regulus. Then we have triple copies of Foolish Bro Goods. We have triple copies of the Gold Gondola, two copies of Smashers, triple copies of Spriggan's Watch with triple copies of Tally Ho. We have one Disc Coliseum with your triple talents, your triple Imperm, your Rainbow Bridge to Salvation, and your Spriggan's Interluder. Then you have the one Platinum Gadget with one Tornado Dragon, one Time Thief Reader with one X Blower, two copies of Merrymaker with one Degen Buster, one Gigantic Sprite, two copies of Champion Sargass, one Gigan X, one X Ton Knight. One Zeus, one Abyss Dweller, and one Exterior. Then, of course, you have the triple copies of the Giant Space Rock, triple Book of Eclipse, two Cosmic Cyclone with one Harpy's Feather Duster, triple Dimensional Bear, and triple copies of Evenly Matched here. Wrapping up, well, honestly, one of the more interesting takes that I have seen out here for this deck. Very, 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 very solid. Next up is Sword Soul, again. Now this is uh, this is where things get very interesting. We are playing Kashtira Sword Soul here now. Full disclaimer here: I'm not exactly sure what your game plan is. I assume it's just you know you're gonna try to get to the Ice Jade Synchro here, 
ASAP to try to punish your opponent. All right, that's got to be like the biggest thing that I can think of that this deck wants to do. Obviously, you know, Diabolsis for you know ripping from the extra deck is going to be a big sign of things too. So we have triple copies of Incredible Ecclesia. We have two copies of Fenrir, one Rise Heart with triple copies of the Unicorn. We have two Nibiru's, triple copies of Mo Yi, one Taie with triple copies of Long Dong uh, Young Long Yun. We have two Vishudo, and then we have two copies of the Abyss Dragon Sword Soul. I'm glad to see this card is seeing some play. Free Extender. We have two Enemy Controller with one uh, Birth. We have one Kashira Theosis, two copies of Pot of Desires. We have triple copies of Ray Sloth, triple copies of Emergence. We also have two Talents, triple copies of Imperm, and one copy of Blackout. Down the extra, we're only playing one Monk. The 10e package has been massively reduced for this deck. We have two Diabolsis, one Shangri-La, one Arise Heart with one Happiness. And we have two Zeus, one Cheng Ying, uh, one Queen Sing Long Yun, two Qi Zhao, your one Ice Jade, your one Boxia, and your one Baron de Floor. Then we have triple copies of the Shifter, triple copies of the Book of Eclipse, triple Thrust, triple Dimensional Barrier, and triple copies of good old evenly matched here. Wrapping up your Kashtira with a, well, your Sword Soul deck with a splash of cash here. And once again, looking at like the interactions here, this looks incredibly interesting on paper. And it has to flow relatively well for this to make a splash or be relevant in the modern era metagame. So good stuff on that. Next up here, we have, hey, hey look, it's, it's Labyrinth. You know, once we get Chaos Angel, I think this deck is gonna excite so many more people. But for now, this deck has to kind of do some shenanigans. Well, cool thing with the DCG is we can Punishment drop Bucephalus here, and then we can go drop the bird to turn this into a draw one. A trap card that spot removals, you know, one big card that also draws you a card, pretty good at the end of the day. I mean, you can also drop it an Intus for an extra pop. It's going to just kind of depend on the situation that I, I feel like you're going to find yourself in with this deck. So it's one of the, the cuter interactions that this deck has, you know, being the trap-based control deck that it is. So we have two copies of Backcheck. We have triple copies of Ariana. Triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have triple copies of Lady Labyrinth with one Lava Golem. We have one lovely Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. And then we have two Labyrinth Labyrinth. Triple copies of Pot of Extravagance. We have triple copies of the Archfiend's Ghastly Glitch with triple copies of Big Welcome Labyrinth. We have triple copies of Compulsory Evacuation Device. Triple copies of Dimensional Bear. We have triple copies of Dogmatica Punishment. We have one good old Ice Dragon's Prison, triple Infinite Permanence, and triple copies of the Welcome Labyrinth. Down here in the extract, you have two copies of Bucephalus, one copy of Anima, triple Linger Rebo, one Linger Rebo. Uh, we have one copy of Nightmare Phoenix with one Draco Stapelia. We have two Mud Mud, one Garuda, and triple copies of Anindas. And then we have two Lava Golems, two copies of Cosmic Cyclone with your one Harvey's Feather Duster, triple copies of Super Poly, one a Pointer, triple copies of EEV, and then we have triple copies of Evenly Matched here. Wrapping up, well, another interesting take for, yeah, for Labyrinth. Good stuff. Uh, lots, lots of cool things here. Last, this is another Sword Soul list. Now, this is going to be your uh, your more standardized variant. I feel like at this point, the one that you know you, you play your standard ten E package, you get access to the Distrito in here, and then you just play a, a synchro package to kind of get things going here, and then yes, you get access to the Ice Jade down here as well. It basically plays the same as we'd previously seen in past formats. I know how people are with change. They're like, ah, I don't want to go too crazy. Those other lists are incredibly saucy, though. So we have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy Spring. We have one Distrito with triple copies of Effect Failure. We have triple copies of Incredible Ecclesia with triple copies of Mogi. We have two Taie with triple copies of Long Yun. We have two copies of Ara Ara, triple copies of Ashuna. We have two copies of Vishuda. We have one called By the Grave. Triple copies of Dark Ruler No More. Two Pot of Desires with triple copies of Emergence. We have two Talents and then triple Imperm and one copy of the Blackout. Down here in the extract, we have one Shaman. Triple Monk with one Yazi. We have one Cheng Ying with one Queen Sing Long Yun. Two copies of Chi Zhao. We have one Agrine, one copy of Draco Berserker, one Xiaofeng, two Boxia, and one Baron de Fleur. 
Then we have Triple Gamma with one driver, Triple Cobb Beast with Book of Eclipse, two Cosmic Cyclone with one Heartbeat Feather Duster, Triple Anti Spell Fragrance, and two copies of Rivalry of the Warlords here. Wrapping up your chunk of very, very interesting ideas here. Very, very Sword Soul packed, but that's what I want to see right now is I want to see all of these ideas kind of flowing together here. To kind of showcase how things are looking. So what do you guys think? Please, so if you comment down below, tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.